Glory be to God in the higher. It is a new month, the third day of the new month. And our God is a good, good, good God. Praise the Lord. Friends, glad to get to be here on this third day of March. Marching forward. Yesterday was Daddy Gio's birthday, so you know, I hope you pray for me. I hope you know me. Remember tonight the special Ego service is on and today tomorrow Saturday to be there. Let us pray. I know the topic, the joy of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so very dear so much. Thank you because of your love for us. And thank you for the privilege we enjoy here. Lord, our prayer is that today, Lord, again you will speak to us and we pray for the special people standing that your anointing who go will be upon the program in every way. We pray for Johnny Messi to and through the venues and the activities, everything that we have been. Lord, let all bring glory to your name. Thank you for your joy. That it was a great strength to us, physical and spiritual and every way. We are grateful, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. And that's our topic for this morning is it will end well. It will end well. And I text the John chapter 14 and verse 1. John chapter 14 and verse 1. Reading from the King James Version. The Bible says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Let not your heart be troubled. Why? Because it will end well. You know, in, in life, I see people worrying about many things that will never be. I remember many years ago, my daughter, she's 20 this year already, when she was about five years old, she asked me, Daddy, when will I get married? And I asked for a five-year-old, that's not supposed to be part of the worry at all. We worry. In this world, we worry. Oh, I remember just last two weeks, the first station had been like, and they told us there's no need for panic, that they swear. But the first station, the queues are very long. Why? People like to worry. But see, Jesus is saying to you that believe on him. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. And you need to believe in him. Now, I read to you Proverbs chapter 3, 6 and 7. You can read the whole of Proverbs chapter 3. It's a beautiful piece. But I'm reading 6 and 7. Proverbs 3, 6 and 7. The Bible says, With every step you take, sorry, I'm reading the easy to read version. With every step you take, think about what He wants. That's God. And He will help you go right, up, right the right way. Don't trust in your own wisdom, but fear and respect the Lord and stay away from evil. The truth about it is that if you commit it to God, it is safe. That's why the Bible says in Matthew 4, 19, it says, come, follow me, and I will make you. Sincerely, friends, anything you are going through, please commit it to God. Trust Him, believe in Him, and it will end well. And I pray for you, whatever is happening now, in Nigeria, in your country, wherever, in your family, I pray as we commit it to God, He will intervene and it will end well. It will always end well when God is involved. The Lord bless you. See you tomorrow. Don't forget the special video service starting today. You will see.